Hosting racing events for the Formula One of kiteboarding is very important for countries like China, where kiting is developing rapidly. I think Chinese people very, very love to do sports, and kite surfing is the best choice, I think. So the kite surf will be more and more popular in China. More and more people will come in with us. David Zai founded the China Kiteboarding Union in 2008, and today he counts more than 10,000 riders on China's waters. At the beginning, it's totally nothing here, you know. It's like uh, uh, no beach, no buildings. So we, we continue for three years, and it's getting better. They have uh, uh, a very good uh, like facility you know, for kite surfing, and also we organize a kite surfing team. Like some, we have ten uh, young riders now. We yeah, maybe some of them can take part to the Youth Olympic team next year. The wind conditions were light for the second day's racing here at Weifang in China for the 2017 Kitefoil Gold Cup, and only late in the afternoon could the riders finally complete one single race. France's Axel Mazella seems to hold the secret for these kinds of conditions, and also won the third out of the three races. Alexia Fanselli, also from France, is still leading in the women's division. She can feel the pressure from her fellow competitors who are following close behind. Yeah, it's, today we had a lot of waiting around, a uh, lot of up and down, wind changes, wind directions. Um, had a few short chances to get out, but only managed to get out for a one race at about five o'clock. The wind picked up to about 15 to 17 knots within about five minutes. We're all out on 15s and 13s. Good race. That was the end of the day. Racing continues tomorrow here in Weifang, China for day three of the 2017 Kitefoil Gold Cup. <laughs>